Hello, welcome back. Last time I solved a few old riddles and just kind of took inventory of where I was and what I had to do. So um, I've chosen an activity for today, a couple of them. I do own one gold key and I'm going to use it. So here's my thought. I want to do a boss fight. And I've chosen Elemental Conflux as my fight that I want to do. Uh, okay, you're fine. Now, if I'm going to prepare for a serious boss fight, which that one is, then I want to take advantage of things that I've been waiting to take advantage of, and that includes this. Let's become a professional enchanter. I forget what that even means, but it's something I wanted to do before I did any enchanting. I think the time has come to look at the enchanting system and at least learn what it has to offer. I have this gold key that doesn't have a specific destination other than this. So I'm going to just use it here because I'm pretty sure this is something I want. But remind me what effect this book has. Unleash the potential of items to the maximum by correctly distributing the powers of enchantment. Plus one willpower. Who wants willpower the most? I'm going to say Jonrak. He will be my enchanter. Alright, you are a professional enchanter. That does what exactly? Can cast more powerful enchantments on items. Hmm. Can. I wonder if I could have done the enchanting I want to do without having bought that. Well, anyway, it's done now. Let's take a super quick look at this. That's kind of like weirdly... Offset. Have I been under that there? Okay, anyway, still don't understand what that means yet. Is this a fully enclosed? No, it's not. Okay, so anyway, let's not worry about that. Now is not the time. Uh, I want to return. And I want to... First, just, like, get all the information that I have about enchanting. Uh, I will be coming back right there for some things sometime soon. Uh, yeah, of course he is. Alright, and you'll have a meat pie in a bit. So to do this, I want to do what now? Okay, I want to look at my scrolls. Right, so items to enchant. What has yellow text? Crystal shield does. Oh, shield of valor has a shield spell ability. Okay. Bracelet of Ignis, what's that? Oh, faster cooldown. Neat. Wizard's Captain, Wizard's Boots, so Wizard's thingies are what I'm thinking I want to do this to. Okay, so what do I know about enchanting? Fish can be used to reduce the weight of equipment and to create magic bags. Got it, so enchant one of those to reduce its weight or reduce the weight of equipment. Neat. Alchemy and enchantment, the Pale Nut can increase evasion. Not interested in that for Zarpo. These enchantment materials are suitable only for weapons. I will not be enchanting my druid staff, really? Are you sure? I do like that druid set. What does it do for me exactly, though? Could I imagine giving this up someday? Spell cost minus 10% all spells? I could imagine. There could be something better than that. As strange as it may sound, using meat to enchant an item will spoil the appetite of whoever wears the item in the future. Less food consumed by Zarbo. I like that one. However... Well, so what are my other options? Okay, let's learn some things. Could just try meat, fish. Oh, I have so much fish. Uh, miscellaneous things. And, okay, I'm going to want a uh, save closer to the enchanting station. That's here, I believe. So I enchant... 
Where? Here. And here's the basics guide, probably. Place lesser enchant item scroll on the altar. Place an item on the altar. Each item may be enchanted only once. That's the lesser enchantment guide. The greater one presumably is what I just earned from buying that thing. All right, so I'm getting more convenient save. So let's say I put enchant item scroll here. Boom. Oh. Place the gem. Okay. Let's say I took a red gem. Place the material. Okay, so let's say I gave you appetite type spoiling. Now, see, this is less appealing than I thought it might have been. Add more meat. Oh, how much meat do you want? Okay, so it takes a bunch. Yeah, there's a whole entire complicated system here. I'll bring 12 more, 13 more. Let's see if that ends up being enough. Did I miss? I did. Where's this place? Here. Past the dragon. How much do you want? Okay, enchantment is ready. Place an item. Uh, oh, okay, so all crystal... Equipment is yellow. I'm not sure that's the set you'll end up wearing. So let's say Wizard's Caftan. That has been enchanted. Enchanted Wizard's Caftan. Food consumption rate minus 17%. So that cost me... Was it like 8 meat? I think. A red gem. An enchant item scroll. 17% less. Okay, so... Let's learn some more things. So a lesser enchant item scroll. Enchantment is ready. What did that do? Hold on, okay. Protection, evasion, willpower, resist all, energy regeneration rate. Protection, evasion, willpower, resist all, energy regeneration. It's a little more protection, I think. Oh dear. Uh, this is complicated. What do you say? Advanced enchantment guide. Okay, here, here we go. Enchant item, scroll, and altar. Place a gem. Determine the power of enchantment. Place material. Type of enchantment. Add chosen material until enchantment is ready. Place item. Almost all herbs can be used as materials for enchantment, but not herbs only. You can experiment or search for recipes. Some enchantments are only suitable for certain item types. More powerful enchantments will require more materials. So that all makes sense. I'm going to be reloading, by the way, in case it wasn't obvious. So let's try herbs. Let's try a blue gem. Okay, material. Uh, is Grimcap an herb? It is. Two Grimcap for... Sure, I'll just enchant all sorts of stuff and just learn what this does. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> let's choose a simple item? What would that be? Here we go. This is pretty simple. Protection plus 12. Energy regeneration rate plus 4%. Okay, so energy regeneration from Grimcap. Oh, dear. This is a lot to discover. Okay. Well, I saved it for a long time. So energy regener... Oh, whoops. That was lesser. All right, whatever. Uh, right, so I want... Uh, greater or normal. Okay, um, do I have enough spice? Hold on, you want a gem first, right? Yes, okay. So presumably a cheaper gem requires less of the material. Spice does go. 
So I'm going to enchant, again, something simple. Protection plus 12 becomes energy plus 6. So regeneration from Grimcap, energy from Spice. Alright, well I think I'm just going to go through this for a little while and learn what does what. Salt wheat. And things can only be enchanted once. Protection plus 12. Health regeneration from salt weed. Okay. I'll reload and recycle my simple equipment when I, uh, when I run out of things. That's fine. Okay. What about herder? Uh, not yet. Gem first. Herder cap. Plate Chris gains accuracy. Okay, herder cap for accuracy. I'm saying all this out loud so that future me will write it down, hopefully. If he remembers. So, what about horned fruit? Seems to take two of each of any food ingredient. With a blue gem, at least. Oh, which ingredient was that? Horned fruit experience points 4% faster. Oh. Okay, that's something that would have been nice to have done a long time ago. All right, so that's an important one. Let's reload. Do I understand yet what Professional Enchanter does? No. Uh, and I saved over... Well, I guess I could reload my previous save and see if Advanced can already do something. Or maybe just, like, the numbers are better. I don't know. Anyway, doesn't matter that much. I've done it, and whatever's happening is going to happen the good way, I guess. All right, so continuing. Uh, worm root. Health plus six. Okay, worm root is for health. You get a gem. You get an egg. Egg does not go. Not an enchanting material. Bleeding blossom. Did I already have health regeneration? Because if I didn't, I'm guessing that's what it'll be. Oh, resist all plus four. Okay, cool. Um, let's test a different thing, just to understand implications. Let's try a green gem, but same material. So twice as much bleeding blossom, and is it going to be twice as much resistance? Not twice as much, but more. Okay, so yeah, more powerful gem requires more materials, but gives higher numbers. So obviously, if I can afford it, I would always want to red gem enchant something. And I can only do it once. So this is a big commitment to a thing. <laughs> Meaning I'm probably not going to actually do any today. <laughs> but I need this information to be able to make those decisions. So, Pale Nut. This was reported to do something that I forgot, but let's see it. That is evasion. Okay. I have a hard time imagining using that one, but it could happen. Uh, I don't imagine cooked food would be a material. Uh, fish was... Reduced weight. Okay. Uh, let's try herbs. Oh. Oh, right. Sorry. You take a gem first. Blood drop cap. Strength. Okay. Makes sense. Let's reload. Okay. Uh, enchant. Blue gem. Falcon Skyer. That's going to be dexterity. Uh, simple item, please. Dexterity. Okay. And I can definitely extrapolate for that's going to be willpower, that's going to be vitality. I'm just going to trust that. Black Moss does what? Did it tell me somewhere? Cooldown rate. Crystal Flower, critical chance. Copper Nugget, attack power. Okay, do I have anything else on me that I want to try? Uh, or do I want to go get some ore and see if that works? Right, I was going to try cooked food. What about bombs? Not that kind of bomb. Arrow? Not an arrow. Ammunition? I don't carry any of that anymore. 
Healing potion. Nope. Uh, I think I might have gone through most of the materials. A note. Not that. Well, that's a letter. A note. Nope. Where did I get this? I hope I marked it because I have no idea what that's talking about. Black picks? No. Uh, okay, so it seems like the list of materials did deplete relatively quickly. Cooked food. None of that. Okay, let's try... I do have a couple of other things to try. Poisoned meat, tenderloin, insect meat. And I should look around my base and see if there's anything else that I want to consider. Anything that's just kind of hanging out here that I'd like to try. Don't think... well, I mean, I'll try it. I, it's, it's, this is going to count as cooked food, though. I can, I can sense the pattern. Ooh! Okay, these are good. And that's good. Yeah, you're heavily loaded, but you'll still be able to move. Rock. Rock was a thing. Uh, Yelmud carries those. And you know what? I don't want to be slow, so let's not. Uh, I could try throwing knife. I mean, if rock works... Possible. I could try Force Trap again. Yelmud carries those. I could try money. I will try ammunition. <laughs> That's a lot of ammunition. I'll try cannonballs. Other kind of ammunition. That might be eligible for guns. Okay, let's bring a gun. Uh, two, I guess, if I want to, if in case either of those actually works. Uh, okay, I think that's all that seems reasonably likely. This is interesting. Uh, dragon statue is in... The south direction, I just can't see it. It's right here. Okay. So you're primed, waiting for a material. Uh, crystal shard of healing, nothing. Crystal Shard of Recharging, nothing. Catharsis, nothing. Forest Milk, nothing. Poison Meat, nothing. Tenderloin, nothing. Insect Meat, nope. Ore, nope. Throwing Knife, nope. Okay, well that makes this nice and easy. Rock, yes. Takes three for a blue. Alright, Plate Gauntlets, you gain... Some more protection. For protection. Okay, neat. So rock is for protection. <laughs> uh, place the material. Cannonball. No. Nope. Ammunition. No. Nope. Uh, force trap. No. Nope. Money. No. Nope. And I think that's all that was promising to try. So Copper Nugget was listed as attack power. I guess I should see how much, since I can do that relatively quickly. Okay. Um, I'm probably going to just, like, process this information. I guess the thing to do would be Ether Weed, Red Gem, Wizard Stuff... Amount of energy points, energy regeneration rate, cold resistance. Doesn't directly increase damage done, right? No, just how many I can cast. Every point in water magic increases the probability, and I can't change that. What was I here for? Uh oh. <laughs> uh, help? <laughs> Copper nuggets, that's right. Just for thoroughness to see the, the numbers. Alright, so this points me straight at the enchantment table. It knows that I want 
Oh, it takes only one. Uh, wait, what? Oh, right, attack power. Can't increase that on a... Okay, so... Um, is there a simple weapon? All right, 16 to 49 plus strength. Accuracy plus 5. 19 to 57 plus strength. Accuracy plus 5. Okay. Uh, so I could do, like, cheap enchant on some stuff. Not spend my red gems until I have a yellow thing. But okay, now, okay, let's reload and maybe do a real one. So thing that makes sense most to me is this, this, a bunch of these. It's going to be eight, right? Six, seven, eight. And so that's willpower plus three changes into willpower plus eight. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, so that gained you that much energy. That's... is that worth a red gem? I don't know, five more willpower for that? What would a green gem do for me? Let's, uh, I guess I can test that right now. I'm not, like, incredibly impressed with that. So this will be four. Well, I can just do that. And... Oh, this gets a little bit glowy when it's ready. Willpower plus three. Willpower plus six. So three for green, five for red, presumably two for blue? Right? Let's check. Willpower three. Willpower five. Two blue, three green... Five red. Hmm. That's a little unclear to me. Alright, so I think I've made my decision. Here's how I'm going to use this. I understand the system now. So that's good. Uh, with that understanding, the way that I'm going to use this is when I have difficulty with something and I want to make a tweak to make it easier, I will consider that as a tool for doing that, and I'll understand which stat I want to boost at the time that I'm doing that. So, that's what's going to happen, and I guess I can toss all of these now. Um, I... Yeah, maybe. I'll consider it. Uh, but anyway, lesser enchant, enchant, instructions... Okay, but without actually enchanting anything... Because, see, the thing is, like, I want as many of these as I can possibly get for Tomes of Knowledge, and it's a hard sell to use them on something that is not that. I'm not currently using them on Tomes of Knowledge. I guess I could Tome of Knowledge my way to a jump spell right now, probably. Hmm. But again, there might be cheaper ways to get that. For example, the basics, tomes, and their associated thingies. I'm going to put this away. I don't want to carry it anymore. Uh, this can stay. I use that every once in a while. So if I need ranged weapons, I got this, I got this. Yelman wouldn't contribute that much. Okay, so uh, knowing those things, let's go fight some elementals. And if I have trouble during that fight, and want to change something, then... So another thing I can consider changing is getting buffs from the altars in the places. You know the ones. The, the, um, the four graces. That'd be temporary. Enchanting is permanent. And costs more. Oh right, my torch box! Ugh, I don't want to do that project right now. But here it is on the map now, if I ever want to. Oh boy, I don't want to think about this place. But to get down here, I need to go... How do I get down there? I climb down and this teleports me back, I guess? Just up high. 
just take any pit, I suppose. Who's close? No one. Who's closest? Um, unknown how to open. Unexplored below. Okay, that's a good point. Unknown how to close. Wait, unexplored below? False. Uh, anyway, just choose any. And uh, I did kind of come here without checking at home to make sure I was prepared. That's fine. I'll measure the strength of this encounter with a serious attempt. Oh, you are... you are closed. Uh, you are closed. Okay, so I need the other side. Unless I have a button to open. Oh boy, it's been too long since I was here. I don't remember the mechanisms. There we go, that works. Okay. So the dangerous place to step is here. Okay. So you eat that. Uh, everybody else have the snacks you need to be ready for battle. Save. Okay, so let me just get an idea of what this will be like. I want uh, falcon wings, I guess. And I should choose some shield or another. I would like to force field somebody who's in this encounter. I probably will want haste. Let's choose you know, frost shield. Right. So you were super nasty, I seem to recall. Okay, we got, like, just a whole bunch. Many, many, many things all over the place. Uh, I think I'm gonna top priority keep you Force Field dead. Because I remember you being kind of the worst one. Uh, did that fizzle? I think you have a head injury. Well. I'm just kind of getting destroyed here and nothing I can do about it. Okay, can I destroy you at least? Oh hey, look at you, Mr. Immune to Everything. Huh, well ain't you fancy. You don't have to worry about a thing, pretty much. So Resist Shock 100 is nice. Alright, there are- there's two different air elementals, so Shock Shield would perhaps be the appealing one. Now see, that didn't go so well for everybody else, but Kagan gets out of it pretty much unscathed. I don't think he could solo the rest of this. Uh, you are not taking damage much from that. You kind of hate poison though, okay. Okay, I learned some things. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to query is what buffs can I get from altars? Uh, where are those things? Did I not... here we go. Dexterity plus 10. Vitality plus 10. Willpower plus 10. I wrote that differently. Strength plus 10. Okay, so none of those are resistances. Uh, resistances are what? That's the important thing here. So shock was almost at 100. Poison... Now why was it higher during battle? I looked at this and it was at 100 for a moment, but I had a frost shield up, not a shock shield. Hmm. Ah, because of falcon wings, of course. Okay, so this gives me a priority order here. So you have great fire resistance, of course, because of your strength. Your shock resistance is bad. Poisons, middling, cold is decent. All of yours are not super high. Okay. So the lowest one is Kagan's cold resistance. 
Lowest one is Kagan's Cold Resistance. Uh, Lowest overall is Yelman's Everything. I'm surprised Yelman's Dexterity is not better, but I guess, right, he is a monk, so his stats try to level up in balance. So he's not, like, extremely ahead on... I mean, <laughs> compared to everybody else he is, but all his other stats are good, too. Because they kind of catch up with Dexterity. Yeah, so that's, like, this is the high stat, and then these others just... just come along when he levels. So I'm thinking... Shock shield. Force field the poison one, kill the cold one. What will Zarbo's job be? I don't know, lots of things. Falcon wings. Get ready with force field. Shock shield. Uh, I won't cast haste yet, but I should think about it quickly-ish. I can just do this and keep you away from there. Okay, so. Uh, where's the... Okay, the cold one. Uh, don't get cornered is an important aspect here, and I have failed completely. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, the, the getting cornered is a big issue here. Oh, let's do this. Uh, sure, close enough. Ah, uh, and I can rename. So by saving there, now I can use quick save during the fight if it happens to be going well, and also maintain the ability to reload here. Uh, not sure if I'll do that, but it is an option. Um, haste is so short-lived that I need to cast it with purpose. So I have other things going on here. Yeah, okay, so door closes. I'm gonna force field it. I'm gonna force field myself, apparently. So here's my thought. If I force field that thing in its own tile, then I can later place a force field in front of that tile without having to wait for it to expire, and that's just easier to coordinate than other things. I'm still choosing shock shield, apparently. Okay. So kill the cold one. Don't get trapped somehow. How will I manage that? Uh, well, I killed the cold one. I am a little bit trapped. Not entirely. Okay, we're all alive. Why don't we have some potions? Uh, that was the wrong person. There we go. Okay. Uh, it's way past time for another force field. You actually escaped. Did I get you? I don't think I did. Oh, that's so much damage. I could also just, like, try and survive here. What are you? You're a lightning one. Okay, so with shock shield up, this will go okay. Cool. Uh, you know what? Honestly, that's the strategy. Alright, so I'm thinking I'm actually going to stand in place and attack here. Uh, I still want to force field the one over there. But yeah, that lets me cast the haste spell. It lets me rotate my elemental shields to the appropriate one. So I don't know who will come after me first. So let's just not cast a shield at all. Okay, so I'll do this. Oh, right, and I was thinking... Um, Kagan Bear. Kagan Bear. Sounds pretty good. And I can do some trickery here to make sure that somebody comes to me in the appropriate spot. Alright, who do I get? You are watery. Okay, cross shield. And you need to be a bear. Okay, you are now. Regenerate. Live. Live. Uh, have shock. Yes, you hate that. Also, be hasty. It's hard to see my health bar when I'm continuously taking damage. Okay, so we're on to fire now. Uh, you can't cast that. You can, though. And you are the frosty one. Okay, well, fire's gone. <laughs> that was easy. Okay, so that hurts every time I do it. I definitely want a shock shield for that. So we will be taking damage continuously as that happens. Um, I'm gonna have you do this before I do too much else. That's interesting. Okay. 
Uh, at this point, I would like to escape this little spot. Uh, what are you? You are uh, air, so therefore use something that's not... Okay, bear's running out of energy. Got a lot of things to think about here. You're hard to hit, but it's possible. I would like you to live, Zerbo, so just drink whatever you have on you. Okay, and at this point I can totally just dodge. Okay, this was extremely doable. I'm declaring myself to have won, even though I haven't actually yet. But it's close enough. Alright, cool. Alright, so you I'm saving for last, I guess. Let's force field it just to not have to think about it. Here. Uh, there we go, gotcha. Oops. Alright, make use of that bear. Bear is good. Use bear. Uh, I say, not using bear. Okay, great. Great. Uh, here, I'll fix that poison, I guess. That is so not worth it. Let's not. Just heal yourself or something. Yeah, bear not being utilized as well as it could. That's okay. That didn't do very much, actually. Okay, so Kagan's done being a bear. Right, you were the super, super nasty one, who I hated most out of any of these. But, when it's just you alone in a big room where I can dodge around, this should be fine. Eventually. Uh, I should use air magic on you? Presumably. Uh, I tried, but I guess I misclicked. No, you're not weak to that. So you're not weak to anything in particular, therefore I will use this. I hope you freeze at some point. Um, I'm gonna heal that poison, I guess. I hope that's not a waste of a turn. How do I get ahead of this curve? Okay, by hitting you with John Rack, that's the way. Alright, I did it. That was all quite acceptable. Neat. I'm gonna save. Oh no! <laughs> so the opposite happened. Uh, <laughs> remember that one time I pressed the save button instead of the load button? Well. <laughs> okay, let's do that battle again better. Well, at least I know what I'm doing now. <laughs> and I know that my strategy is very viable. I uh, still want to imprison that earthy one over there. So bear mead here. Uh, I'll distribute energy potion here because you'll probably need one. Okay. And I'll choose my spell type appropriately when I get a target. Alright, target is watery. And uh, you should be a bear. You should regenerate quickly. Uh, you have lightning? Yes, you hate that. You have potion. You have potion. You be dead someday, please? I appreciate it if you were dead. Oh boy, okay, so we got the poisony one. Oh, this is actually bad. Um, I need you to be gone quickly. Problem is, that's not going to happen. Okay, so this is why I wanted you force field it. Yeah, okay, so that's a bit more of a problem than I thought. Okay, this is fine. Uh, just try again and it'll probably work. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what to do if that happens, though. Like, I just kind of have to luck into it not happening, it feels like. Because if it does, then... Hmm. But I'm not sure. I can earth shield, sure, but so what? Right, okay. Uh, I didn't really prepare for bear. I can do that while I'm waiting here. Uh, can I? Maybe I don't need to be a bear. I probably should, though. Uh, in that paw, there we go. Well, that didn't go well. Prepare for bear. Cast Falcon Wings. 
prepare for force field. Use force field. Okay, and uh, cast regenerate. Right, so that's an important one. Become bear. Uh, regenerate's already cast. Okay, can I tell who's over there? Oh well, somebody's dead already. Man, I sure had a good run that time that I cancelled out of by accident. That's pretty sad. Oh well. There's the situation I'm in. And I'll just deal with it. You gotta drink that so fast. Okay, so haste. Okay, everybody hurting so much. Uh, okay, so why is this working so much worse to stand here? Did I? I never put up a shield spell, that's why. Got it. Seems pretty consistent that the water one gets to me first, so I'm just gonna put a frost shield here. Have a bear maid here. Have this in your hand. Be ready with force field. Cast falcon wings. Become a bear. Uh, be hasted. Be regenerated. Okay, and now... Right, so getting that shield up is very important. Like, look how much less damage I'm taking. It's kind of wild. Okay, so we got fire. The poison one's kind of wandering off, which is what I like to see. Uh, you're gonna heal... Um, no, you're not. You're too busy. Oh wait, we got poison. Alright, and now I'm dead, right? He's like, I can't force my way out of this. Oh, or maybe I can. Okay, 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 I'm alive. Regenerate is up. Alright, so... I'm loose in the room a little earlier than I meant to be, but this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. I'll just have to dodge around for a bit longer. Okay, so you lighten me every time I hit you. That is okay. You know, it's not the best, but it's... it's... tolerable. Oh, you're hurting a bit. Have a potion. Ah. Ah. I should get some kind of shield up. Let's choose lightning. Because I am going to be taking a bunch of those hits. Okay. You know, that looks like a force field opportunity to me. Good enough. Okay. Things are fine. Regenerate is gone. Let's do something about that. I would like to force field again, but the problem is I'm kind of... ...low on energy. I guess I should feed you a, a potion. That missed. Right? I can do one thing at a time. It's within my means. Smack. Smack. So you don't lightning me when I hit you. You're just air and not lightning, I guess. Okay. Um, hitting each other is quite acceptable. Please continue. Okay. Lightning you one down. I know you can lightning bolt, but I don't remember the incantation off the top of my head, so I'm just gonna do something simpler. I would still like to reduce numbers a bit. Whoever is within my force field first gets force fielded. Okay. And the nastiest one is down already, so I think we're good. Cool. Uh, you have lightning. <laughs> okay, you- wait, you held on to my force trap? Or maybe you dropped a new one? Uh, that's lightning. There we go, I found it. Uh, right, you don't have a melee attack. I was getting ready to hit something with Zarba. Okay. F5, not F9. There we go. Okay. 
And I think that felt like a cleaner run than my previous one. Yeah, I got cornered with the poison for a bit, but it wasn't so bad. Totally acceptable. All right, well, essence of error is mine. Great. So anything more of interest in this room? Yes, there is, right here. Tome of Health, cool. Uh, Kagan is actually ahead of Jeanrac. Zarbo is lowest, but Yolmond is dying quicker. Zarbo's resistances are better, so Yolmond gets this. Okay, greater energy. You used yours, I think. Greater healing, yeah, I used some of those. Probably should brew more. How's my blood drop cap stuck? Not great. Toe of balance. Resist all plus... No, all stats plus one. Uh, who do I normally give these to? It varies. Anybody but Yolmund. This time I think it's Kagan. Alright, cool. Okay, let's be deliberate and thorough about checking for buttons. Don't just do a half-assed job on it. I definitely checked everything past there. And I'm pretty sure I checked everything past here. Okay, so button check has completed. That was everything of interest in here. Great, okay. That's done. So there's only one more essence to get, and I know exactly where it is, right? Neat. Yeah, who knows how to get that. Um, there's a place to stand there, but reaching it is a mystery. And I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay, cool. Oh. Yeah, okay, so many more mysteries in here, but I'm satisfied with what I've experienced for now. Gonna turn that in because it'll just give me some experience and stuff. And we'll be ready for the next adventure. So, yeah, given how that went, I'm thinking Royal Summoners might be very much within reach. So that'll probably be my next target. Uh, this is Cheeseburg. It's a new week now. So next time I'll go shopping and stuff. Elevate. Uh, and while I go shopping and stuff, I should buy lockpicks. If I have enough, I think I do. I do. Just barely for one. Eastern Indus to the Sacred Grove is opened! Oh. So I only needed three for that. Okay, well that gives me more options. Interesting. Okay. Eastern entrance. So through Mornland. Fascinating. I'm guessing these have like separate adventures in them and they'll connect together and when I get the other essence the, the other one will open. Okay, well, having options is good. Alright, great. So, uh, next time maybe I'll focus on Tomb of Odan. Maybe something else. We'll see.